So this sounds a little bit dramatic, but it, it, in my opinion, it's quite true to an extent. It's like pretty much do day game or become an incel. Uh, and the reason I think that is because like if you're not doing day game, then you're pretty much restricting yourself to a really, really limited set of options in terms of the other methods of meeting girls that, you know, it's like, you're either going to be like settling for a girl who's not necessarily going to be, you know, the perfect match for you or even a potentially good match for you, or you're just going to become an incel, isn't it? It's like, yeah. and, and that's why there are so many incels out there. It, it's yeah, part mean, of the reason. The rise is yeah, many things, it's, but I, I feel like, yeah, day game, as you put it, is one method which was one of, one of the best ways. But it doesn't have to be necessarily daytime, it could be in the night, going yeah. out in the bars. Uh, yes, we have Tinder online, which is good, but most guys get that wrong because they don't have a good profile, their photos are shit. So they, they haven't got a good strategy for online and they also don't go out in the daytime. So if you're not doing any of these things, you know, how can you expect to you know, be living an abundant dating life, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. So yeah, the, I think the stats are like one in, what was it? Uh, I don't know the exact stat on how many guys are not getting laid mm. or in relationships now, but it's rising a lot. So yeah, you, you will become an incel if you don't take, if you just complain and follow all this black pill, stupid ideologies that are going on. Mm. I mean, the thing with like the black pill is like, it's, it has its relevance in a sense. It's worth knowing, obviously, that looks are important, looks matter, but it's not just like, okay, looks matter, okay, therefore, that's all there is to it. Okay, end of story, I'm just gonna become an incel now. Because obviously, the black pill is actually pro probably responsible for a large degree of like people becoming incels because they've just kind of given up. It's like, oh, it's over for me, I'll just give up. But what they fail to realize is that you can actually make a lot of uh, improvements, even if the black pill is still very relevant. So even though looks are massive, or in some cases are the genuinely the, the determining factor as to whether well, you know you end up dating the girl or not, but actually you can still massively improve your looks to a large extent, um, which is what a lot of guys don't really bother with. You know, I don't think it's like I wouldn't say it is important, but it's not that important. I'd say it, you know there's obviously a lot of other factors: personality, charisma. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's like. 20 to 30 percent, I really, or even, I don't think it's massive to be honest, it's really overrated a lot. There's many things you can do to really improve yourself, so. Yeah, it's true. Um, I mean, I'd say, I'd say it is, in my opinion, it is, it's massive, it's de genuinely massive. Uh, and in some cases it is going to be the determining factor, but it's not like you can't do anything about it. And oh, no. you know, it's like the other stuff as well, like the social skills and the charisma, of course that stuff is, is huge as well, because without that, it doesn't matter if you're like the best looking guy, you're, ne you're never going to, nothing's going to happen anyway. The thing with like the incels is like, part of the reason why there are so many incels right now is because there's, they don't have abundance, they don't have an abundance mentality and they're very restricted in terms of their options. So like, they could be, you know, relying on that one girl that's friends with their, one of their friends and that's it. You know, they're not meeting a wide range of girls and that's it. Whereas what day game allows you to have is that level of abundance that en will enable you to just meet a lot of women uh, that you just yeah. won't meet, that you just don't have that when it comes to like, uh, you know, the other methods like in the uh, social circle, you're limited by ha literally just a handful if you're lucky. Workplace, again, limited by a, a very s small quantity and even then it's quite awkward. Um, dating apps, again, you're feeding off of scraps in dating apps, you know, it's like whatever you can get. And generally, it's going to be quite a mediocre prospect. I'm not saying dating apps don't work, because they can. Uh, but you really have to have a good profile, and that's, again, where that comes in. Because, yeah, you can get a shitload of matches online. I'm not, I'm not going to 100% bash it. It can work, but I feel like you have to combine things. Like It's like in business, right? You have, I don't like to use the term funnel, but you've got, like, you know, leads and all this stuff coming from different places. And then you, you know, but the problem is most guys don't have any leads. They've got no... Yeah. You know, it's like when you're running a business, if you don't have leads, you don't have a business, right? Yeah, exactly. So it's the same thing. So it's like in this case, it's like the reason you're an incel is you don't have leads and so you don't have a dating life. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Yeah, you don't have any leads coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know and it, it's just bad. I'm not trying to like say like leads, but basically it's just that. Yeah, like if you're not and taking action, and yeah, you're interacting with people, how you how can you sit there and complain and be the victim? You're not even trying. So yeah. you may as well just go out there. And yeah, of course you will get you are going to get rejections. I'm not. We're not going to say you're not. Uh, but 
the guys who you know are kind of getting a lot of dating abundance they're the ones who are willing to tolerate yeah exactly the rejections. exactly you know it's it's, it's definitely a, a large numbers game to a to a large extent but it's, as long as you embrace that and you make improvements along the way you know you're going to get some success at some point so yeah as long as you're able to have that actual genuine abundance mindset and um, not worry about things like rejections and if one girl reject you know doesn't like you or whatever it's, it's really doesn't matter it's uh it's about really fostering that mindset of just pure abundance and uh yeah and then that way you know it's going to massively improve your dating life and the and the temptation to just give up just isn't going to exist yeah because that's what it is really it's just people giving up that's that's what uh, essentially the incels are it's just guys who've just given up really yeah you have to be careful what you're consuming though guys because if you're consuming a lot of black pill content it's going to make you very negative I would say. yeah any any content even online it's like even just watching day game stuff too much it's going to have like an like a somewhat of a negative effect because you're just it's 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 easy to just sit there and consume the content rather than actually practicing it and, and i know like so many guys oh, even well, watching I'm guilty of that in the past as well doom scrolling yeah consuming I'm, too much videos like the thing is it's like yeah i mean even now there's a lot of guys who watch the channel who aren't actually approaching but they just watch the, the content when actually the whole point of this channel is really just to inspire you yes you that you can actually do it and um, you're better off actually going out and doing it in real life rather than just sort of living vicariously through me or someone else who's uh, doing the approaches. Um, and that's the only way, really. And I genuinely believe that anyone can do this, no matter what state you're in. Of course, if you're you know, in, in a good place in life, if you're good looking and um, you've got your shit together, that's, that's like going to massively help you. But even if you're not necessarily at that point yet, you can still do it as long as your standards aren't you know, sky high. It's still possible. Yeah. You know, it's still possible to get success. success. quite low because I think some guys get disappointed because they set their expectations too high and that's why they get really frustrated with themselves. Yeah. So I would just say set the criteria for success literally. Lower at the beginning. Yeah, at the beginning. Yeah. I'm just going to go out of the house. I'm going to start talking to the barista. I'm going to give a compliment. Just start off small, gradually work your way up. You know, um, but yeah, a lot of guys have bad strategy. They have bad, um, you know, they might be repeating the same mistakes over and over again. So that's why, again, it's good to get a coach uh, who can break down what you're doing wrong, depending on your goal. Um, but yeah, most guys would be happy even just to have, you know, a, a phone number, a date. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, a lot of guys are struggling out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get dates even. Yeah. But yeah, that's the thing with day game. It's, um, it's just like, the, in my opinion, it's the best option. It's not perfect by any means. I mean, I'm, I'm the first one to admit, like, you know, cold approach has its disadvantages. You know, one of which, for example, is the fact that you're just a complete stranger approaching another complete stranger. And so like, therefore, you're already at somewhat of a disadvantage in that sense. She's like, well, she might find you attractive. She might think you're cool and charismatic and interesting. But in the end, she goes home and she's thinking like, well, he was nice and interesting, but who the fuck was that guy? I, I, you know, he's a complete stranger. And that's one of the reasons why um, the flake rates are quite high. That's why girls flake a lot of the time. It's just because you're a stranger, even if she likes you, you know? Yeah, I mean, that depends. I mean, it, it's not 100%. So like, you know, day game has its um, disadvantages and you know the the you know but no 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 what method is perfect but i i genuinely think that you know the day game the the advantages do outweigh the the disadvantages in other words the whole abundance factor really does uh, compensate for a lot and does make it the best option yeah, you know. online can work as well i'm not i haven't done it a lot but uh, well online is just shit in the west it, i mean online can work better in like second world countries you know, I've, I've, I've been able to meet quite a few, like, quite attractive girls in uh, second world countries from online. But even then, day game is still better. It's always better uh, in, every, in every scenario. Like, day game is always going to yield higher quality girls. And, um, but if a guy is not getting options, I would say if he wants to, he can do his online profile and add it as a bonus. Yeah, I, I don't say don't do online dating. I don't say avoid it. Uh, it's still quite useful for, as another string to your bow, but I wouldn't rely on it. You know, I would always have like day game as the primary means and then maybe a bit of swiping now and again, you know, in the downtime when you're like, you know, waiting for something or whatever, but I wouldn't rely on it. That's, that's my, that's my recommendation. Cheers for watching. 
If you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls, or more generally with your social confidence, please visit my website ed-game.com.